Hi guys, Luke here, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. It's the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs career mode. Now, in previous rugby league live games, I've wanted to do a Bulldogs career mode, but it kind of just never happened. And the reason being was mostly because I was kind of looking for a career mode that had a bit of a challenge. A one where we can kind of put our own stamp on the team and rebuild a team. Um, that's why we did teams like the Tigers and Warriors and stuff, where we could sign our own players and sort of do our own thing. And the Bulldogs team always had pretty good um, rosters on the game. They were pretty, going pretty well in real life at the time of the games coming out. If you think back to like 2012 and 2014, that sort of stuff. Now, not so much. We're going absolutely horrendous. Des Hasler, I want him gone. And I think I'm going to step into the shoes and take over the role as coach. Now, the first thing I'm going to take a look at is the settings. Now, the halves and lengths uh, for normal games are going to be seven minutes, which I think is a good length. Um, and we might increase it depending on how the games go, but I think enough tries and there'll be enough things that happen in the game where seven minutes is enough. And the halves, half length for um, Auckland Nines is five minutes. I think that's that's good for that as well. Um, the difficulty for the match difficulty, it's going to be pro. Um, the reason being is like I'm really struggling on pro as it is. So if things do get a little bit... Um, too easy, which I don't suspect is going to happen anytime soon. We'll bump up difficulty because we can go two more. So we're on pro, which is kind of like middle ground at the moment. And we've got veteran and then legend. So pro is where we're at for now. The rest of it is all just standard stuff. I mean, this really is a standard settings, I think, except for the half lengths. Now, just before we go ahead and select the Bulldogs, just want to show you all the, the overalls. Um, you can see there the Bulldogs at 82. Uh, we're one of the better teams in the comp. Uh, by no means are we the best team or the worst team. We're kind of sort of around the middle. You can see the Knights are the worst team. I'm surprised the Warriors are rated as low as they are. Um, same for like the Eels. Some of them, some of the ratings in this game are a bit weird, but um, yeah, the Bulldogs, 82 overall, maybe is kind of okay. Maybe it's probably a little bit too high, but... Uh, I'll take it. Now, the support team is something that doesn't really get shown in a lot of videos or talked about. It's kind of just glossed over. But I'm going to be selecting the most expensive one. The other two are just really, really shit. Um, so this one seems like the most logical one. And also, in terms of attracting players or retaining players, I have noticed that I can get players for a lot less than what it says their value sort of should be. And I have a feeling it's due to the support teams that I was using. I was using the most expensive ones. So that's the reason I'm going with Jimmy's Ant Guidelines. Now, before our ball's kicked, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at our roster and more particularly the ratings for our roster. So, James Graham is our best player, which is funny because he's also um, tied with Sam Cassiano at 87. I think it's hilarious that Sam Cassiano is 87 rated. I know he's very skillful in that, but yeah, 87 seems to be quite high for him. Then we've got Josh Jackson, David Clemmer, who I think are two, like along with Graham, are probably our top three players. Um, I'm such a big fan of Josh Jackson. Um, and then we got Brett Morris and Josh Morris, who are both 85 rated. Probably a little bit too much for Josh. Maybe a little bit too high for both of them at this point in their careers. But um, I just look at their hairstyles in this game. It's so funny. Um, we do move on to Will Hopper Wadi. Uh, he's a fullback on this game, like he is in real life at the moment. Um, but he's 84 rated, which I think is on. It's you know a little bit high for him, probably. Same with Greg Eastwood. Uh, I think Greg Eastwood's been trashed this year. Branko Lee, I mean, he's in reserve grade at the moment, and he's like one of our best backs on this game. Uh, Moses Mbai, 82 rated, probably about right for Mbai and also Josh Reynolds as well. Move on to players like Fatala Mariner, Garvey, and Leisha are both 80 rated. I think that's too high for them. If To be quite frank, if you are in the 50s, would probably be um, more accurate. Um, Shay Stanley, 80. Kerrod Holland, 79. Aiden Tolman, 79. I'm not a big fan of Aiden Tolman, but that seems a little bit low considering he's 79 rated. Let me move all the way up to bloody Sam Casiano at 87. Um, I don't think there's that big of a gap. Uh, we've got Fuller Lalo, Adam Elliott. He's someone who I'd love to get a little bit more game time. Big fan of Adam Elliott. Frawley, 76. Josh Cleland. Uh, Marcelo Montoya, probably a little bit low for him, considering um, how good he actually is in real life. Also, Talao. Our friends of Talao has actually been quite good in real life. So, a few of the ratings are a little bit off, but I think this team, we've got enough that we can work with. Um, also, like Josh Reynolds is not going to be there next season. I think Casiano is off contract. I don't know if he's actually signed on this game. So... We'll have to wait and see, but I think there's enough room to maneuver in the, the salary cap, hopefully, that we can bring in one or two players, and I'm, I'm quite happy with the roster as it is, to be quite honest with you. I think we can work with it. Now, we have the Orkin lines coming up, and we'll play our first game next episode, but we have the roster breakdown on the right-hand side. You can see there, Graham has been left out. Uh, I think Tolman was another one left out. Tolman and Fulalalo have been left out. We decided to add in Marcelo Montoya, Matt Frawley, and Adam Elliott um, in terms of players. Going over, and the reason being is I just I don't really want to risk injury for a guy like uh, James Graham and that sort of stuff. And the, the rest, I just don't know how well he'd suit the um, suit the nine. So 
I'm not going to bother with James Graham. The same um, with Tolman and Full Lalo and stuff. I don't see the point in carrying a whole bunch of props over, considering I probably won't really use props that often. Now, that's where I'm actually going to wrap up the episode. No gameplay this episode, just pretty much going over the team and sort of giving our thoughts on the team as a whole. Uh, I think you can kind of tell or get the gist of it that I'm pretty happy with how the team is actually on the game. <laughs> not in real life, not in real life, not at all. Even though the 9s is quite different to 13 aside game in real life, I feel like this is going to be a good opportunity for us to just try out a few players and uh, just see how some of them are one on one and you know, see how far some of the players are. Uh, yeah, it d probably won't translate that well in terms of uh, the 13 aside game, but. Yeah, just giving the boys a bit of a run out, just see how we go. More importantly, just give me a bit of a, a bit more practice on this game because I'm struggling big time. Anyway, guys, I'm really looking forward to this series and hopefully you are too. Make sure you leave in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the Bulldogs on this game and in real life. Uh, yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video as well and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's Mr. Luke on YT. My Facebook page is in the description below as well if you prefer to use Facebook. So uh, yeah, I think that's all my plugs out of the way. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.